What is the best entry-level networking certification? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, it's really important to note before we begin today's video, the website that I'm going to talk to you guys about is not sponsoring this video. However, due to all these FTC rules and all the crazy things that are happening with this, I should disclose that they are an affiliate. So if you use the coupon code, you will be in sense giving me some money back. Now you are by no means obligated to sign up with them or use my coupon code for that matter. But today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about it pro TV as a resource to study any one of these networking certifications that we're going to talk about. So check out it pro TV in the description below, use my coupon code ITCQ 30. It saved you 30% off of that subscription rate. Again, you're not obligated to do it. They're not sponsoring this video. They are, however, a very valuable resource. And I think their content is amazing personally. And again, they're not sponsoring this. So I don't even have to tell you about them period, but I am because I like them and I could get a kickback if you do sign up, but they do offer a free trial. So at least check out the free trial because it's definitely worth it. Now getting into this video, the best entry level networking certifications. Now you guys may have seen my video previously where I said the CCNA is not an entry level IT certification. Now there's a huge difference between IT and networking specifically. Many times when people refer to IT, it's a very general broad term. So when you're looking to get into IT, that is a very kind of robust field right now. It's not specific to any genre or subcategory within it. Now subcategory would be networking, cybersecurity, you know, database administration, things like that. This video specifically talking about networking certifications at the entry level that can definitely help you get a networking job. So if you're looking to become a network administrator or a network engineer, these are the certifications that are definitely going to help you. And to top the list off at number one, it's, it's no question really, it is Cisco's CCNA certification. If you're looking to get into networking, looking to get an entry level networking position, the CCNA hands down blows everything out of the water. Now you might say, well, there's other vendors out there, right? There's Juniper, there's HP Pro Curves and all the, there's quite a few, I think, not too many, but Cisco dominates the networking arena. They really do. They are a huge force to be reckoned with. And while there are other vendors out there, still studying for your CCNA and understanding and grasping, you know, basically the fundamentals of networking, which you get the fundamentals of networking with the CCNA and so much more, even studying, you know, that vendor specific certification, just having the knowledge behind, you know, the technologies and the, the protocols and the things that you're learning within the CCNA can help you with even the HP pro curves or Juniper switches and things like that. So, top of the list, it has to be the CCNA. It's definitely the most powerful networking certification if you're looking to get an entry level networking position. Now, next on the list would be CompTIA's Network Plus. Now, this is a very well-rounded certification. It really helps lay down the fundamentals of networking. It doesn't go vendor specific, meaning it doesn't specifically focus on Cisco or Juniper or HP. It kind of broadens the whole spectrum within networking switches and protocols and things like that. But it can definitely help you if you're looking to get into a networking position, just getting the network plus can help ease that transition a little bit. Now, the reason why I say the CompTIA network plus and the reason why I bring this up specifically is because I think it's a safer route to go down to start understanding the fundamentals of networking. And it's in many ways, uh, just a, a better way to help maybe transition into a position period. Now it may not help you enter a networking position immediately, but you are gaining some of this fundamental knowledge that you really do need. And you may find that once you take your network plus, or you're studying for your network plus that, you know, networking just isn't for you. Right. But, if you do find that networking is good for you, just taking that certification, obtaining it, you know, many times you can get these certifications really cheap, whether it's Cisco, CompTIA, uh, itexamvouchers.com, not sponsoring this video again, but you can use them to get cheaper vouchers. It's still just, the, the CompTIA Network Plus is still just a great entry level certification across the board. So really, those are really the only two certifications 
for entry level networking. They can definitely help you. Again, Cisco just blows everything out of the water, but the Network Plus can help you. And you know, you'll find many times if you're looking to work in the government that they do require CompTIA certifications. So you do keep that in mind. But really, if you're looking to make that big leap into a networking position, go for the CCNA. Now there is a new CCNA coming out in February of next year. And I know IT Pro TV for one has content that they are gearing up for this if they don't have it already. They will have it available and you guys can start studying for that right now and get prepared for that. That certification, the new CCNA, many people have toted that it's more geared towards entry level networking. They've kind of um, made, a, they've made a bunch of changes to the, C, the new CCNA. So definitely look into that. If you're currently studying your CCNA, you have until February 20th of 2020 to obtain that certification still. So keep going down that route. You can even still get your CSENT right now up until February in 2020. And that's a great entry level certification. I'm not gonna list that in this video because it is going away, right? It's gonna be gone. So that, there was no need to mention that certification. So again, IT Pro TV, not sponsoring this, but definitely go check them out if you're looking for great material to study from and get prepared for any of these certifications. That's all I got in today's video. I know you guys maybe were looking for more, but that's really, that's the gist of it. So if you guys haven't checked out the video where I say that the CCNA is not an entry level IT certification, definitely go check that out. Again, huge difference between the two when you're referring to specifics within the IT realm. As always, take it easy.